camshafts. It's hard to tell the difference just by looking at them, but as we all know, camshaft design is one of the biggest factors in creating big time horsepower. And that's why we're here at West Tech Performance today to put them to the test. We're testing out naturally aspirated cams versus nitrous cams. Using the dyno, hopefully we're gonna answer the question that we've all got. How much power is a nitrous cam worth? Welcome to Power TV. My name is Bucko and our friends over at Comp Cams get asked a very simple question every day. How do I cam a nitrous engine? You want to have maximum engine performance on nitrous, but you still want power on the street, right? So a lot of people are asking, what's the difference between this, a camshaft designed for naturally aspirated use, or this, a camshaft for nitrous? Well, we're going to show you, but before we jump on the dyno, we're going to teach you some basics about camshafts and camshaft design. Duration, lift and lobe separation are the major variables in camshaft design. Camshaft duration is the amount of time in degrees that the valve is open. Camshaft lift, measured in inches, is the height at which the valve is opening. Lobe separation is the amount in degrees in which the centre line of the intake and exhaust camshaft lobes are offset from one another. The relationship between duration, lift and lobe separation governs how well your camshaft is matched to your engine and performance application. When using nitrous, the camshaft specifications could be optimised for the additional oxygen and fuel that enter the engine. However, when the engine is naturally aspirated, the nitrous camshaft would generally no longer provide ideal performance. So for our baseline dyno run, we're using this engine. It's a Dart SHP short block. It runs Dart Pro 1 heads. It's got a holy carburetor and a Petronix distributor. It runs a 10 to 1 compression ratio, which is fairly healthy. So all in all, should be making around about 475 horsepower. So we're going to start off with our smallest nitrous cam, moving up to a larger nitrous cam, and then onto the naturally aspirated cam. Now each run we'll be doing naturally aspirated and squeezing in 150 shot of Zex nitrous as well, just to see what she gets. We'll be starting with Comp's smallest off-the-shelf nitrous cam. Valve lift is 502 on the intake and 520 on the exhaust. Duration is 224 degrees on the intake and 236 on the exhaust. Alright Steve, so we've done our baseline run, naturally aspirated, what are the figures? What we ended up with was uh, 481 horsepower and 481 pound-feet of torque. The interesting thing about these stroker small blocks, the 383s and the 400 style small blocks, is they're generally very square with the smaller camshafts in them. And by square I mean they'll make the same torque as they will horsepower, and that proved out to, to be the case here. Alright, so now it's time for fun time, nitrous time. For nitrous time. <laughs> With 150 shot of nitrous, our first cam made 623 horsepower and 629 foot pounds of torque. That was a 142 horsepower gain, and our torque was increased by 148. So looking at that, Steve, that's pretty much exactly what you thought. Yet uh, we followed uh, Comp Cam's or Zex's recommendations as far as how much to retard the timing, what sort of fuel pressure to use. Uh, you know, they rec they they call that 150 horsepower shot. And you know the difference in looking at the numbers real close is we were within two tenths of one horsepower being exactly 150. So spot on pretty yeah. much. Calibration was perfect. All right, well it's time to step it up with the cam now and see what we can do there. Absolutely. So we got great horsepower gains once we pump the nitrous into the engine. It's time to switch out cams. As you can see, Steve's busting his gut back here to try and get it in in time. The second cam we're choosing to use is the largest nitrous cam that Comp Cams offers in their catalogue. However, what we've decided to do is have a custom ground cam, which is the biggest of all three that we're going to be testing today, and hopefully we should see some decent gains out of that. But coming up, we're going to have the next dyno test with this second cam in, and hopefully we'll see some numbers. Time for our second off-the-shelf nitrous cam. We've increased the valve lift on the intake and exhaust by nearly 20 thousandths, and the duration was increased by 12 degrees respectively. We 
Then comparing the naturally aspirated run of Cam 1 to our second cam, we made 505 on the horsepower side and 486 foot-pounds of torque. That's a 24 horsepower gain with a little over 5 foot-pounds of torque. So with our more aggressive cam, the numbers look better. Yeah, we picked up about 24, 24 horsepower, 25 maybe, which is when we were in the dyno cell uh, talking before this cam changes, it's not unusual to see and about 12 to 15 horsepower increase for every six degrees increase in intake uh, duration. Good torque again, 486, but because we moved the torque curve up a little bit with the bigger camshaft, we're able to now rev the engine to 6,500 instead of 6,000, and it made peak power at uh, 6,000 instead yeah, of 5,700, so a little okay. later. And uh, torque times RPM equals horsepower, so. Fair enough. If rev it a little higher, then it's gonna make more power. Well, not just time again. Yeah, one more time. After that 150 shot of nitrous, our horsepower went from 623 to 651, and torque read 618 foot-pounds. We gained 28 horsepower, but lost 11 foot-pounds of torque. Well, so far today, all of Steve's predictions have been correct. It's almost like you know what you're doing, mate. <laughs> well, it's not really magic. You know, when these things are calibrated for 150 horsepower, they're going to give you awfully close to 150 horsepower. That last run with the nitrous, we made 146, and I had actually upped the bottle pressure about 25 pounds. I could have lowered the fuel pressure, just a little, kind of a little trick in the tuning. You can either up the bottle pressure or lower the fuel pressure. All right, well, there you go. It's the end of the day now. Knockoff time. We've got 651 horsepower. That's where we're going to stop it for today because it's been a big day for both of us, yeah. mainly you. So uh, back again tomorrow. We've got two more cams to go, and hopefully we'll keep those numbers increasing. Yeah, I'm sure they will pick up a little bit more with uh, the next cam change. And um, who knows, maybe we'll sneak a little bigger shot on that one. All right, let's go get some sleep. <laughs> now that we've tested Comp's two off-the-shelf nitrous cams, on part two, we'll be testing the custom grind nitrous cam and concluding with a naturally aspirated cam to see if nitrous cams can really make more power.